Ringo TV reactions back at you again with another one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Let's get down to work, fam. So, we are in the building again. Ringo TV reactions back at you again with another one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. What we're talking about is a situation where T.D. Jakes made a woman cry. Yes, that's right. Um, this particular woman is, I believe, a former member of the church, and she pretty much found out about the allegations and various issues regarding T.D. Jakes, and what she said pretty much is going to shock you. So let's get right to the tape. Let me tune this thing up real quick so we can get down to work. Um, again, if you come into the building, as you come into the building, be sure to click the like button one time. Likes don't cost you not one dollar. So let's get to the tape. Again, uh, this particular situation, woman uh, finds out about T.D. Jake's scandal, various other issues, and what she had to say is going to shock you. Yes, that's right. So let's get right to this thing real quick. Let me get the play button set up. Okay, okay. How everybody doing out there? This is a pre-recorded, by the way, but I'm speaking as of though I'm live. But I um, have to ask you how you're doing. Nonetheless, let's rewind the tape. Let's play it, hear what she got to say, and then we're going to pretty much give our commentary on what's going on. So I... Rewind it back. Hey, everybody. So I just wanted to talk. I needed to get this off of my chest. And it's about Bishop T.D. Jakes. First of all, I wanted to say that at one time I belonged to the Potter's House. I was a member of the Potter's House. Um, I have gone to several of his ILS um, conferences, pastors and leadership conferences. And... Uh, you know, I, more than that, I have been listening to him on television. I've called him my mentor. He is the comedian of all comedians as far as I'm concerned. I loved his personality. I was one of his biggest fans. I met him in person. I don't know if he remembers, but... I was at a restaurant and I actually gave him a copy of my play and my book. But anyways, I was a big T.D. Jakes fan. And when I say was, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be anymore. And it's not so much because of what I think he did, even though uh, what I heard that he allegedly did was horrific. But all have fallen short of the glory of God. He was, uh, he was supposed to be living by a higher standard. So I did expect more of him. But for me, uh, the bottom line is how he handled it. Somebody told me a long time ago, it's not what you do, it's how you handle it. And I would have expected so much more of him than that. I saw him change from a strong man to a wimp. Now, um, we're going to let it play a little bit more, but I want to interject and share my commentary. Um, it, it's, it's a very serious thing when you really think about it. Um, it's like what I'm seeing here is what happens when you follow a preacher and for whatever reason, that preacher is not living up to the standards by which you thought he should be living up to. And I think that a lot of times, especially in the church, a lot of people tend to put their all into the church 
And, and this is what Christianity would do to you. I, I, I can't blame her for crying because you don't know how long she probably followed T.D. Jakes. So to hear these allegations and rumors and different things, if you really if you really studied scripture, it says that a bishop must be blameless. You get what I'm saying? He must be a blameless man. He, he's not supposed to be caught up in this and caught up in that. So for her, it can be very traumatizing to say the least. So let's get back to the tape, find out what's going on here. Let's uh, do this thing again. Let's go. Right before my eyes, I saw him become a wimp. Wow. He didn't admit to any wrongdoing. He knew he was at the Diddy parties. That was not right. Man. He wouldn't get up on the stage and tell his whole congregation that he goes to Diddy parties. He knows he was hiding that fact. But when he was found out, he didn't say anything about it. And you know, he was so vague and defensive and he just seemed so weak to me. Now, you know, when when women are noticing that you're looking weak, that's a bad thing. And and this just goes to show that T.D. Jakes uh, is being exposed. Um, this is not new to me, like exposing T.D. Jakes is not new to me. I've been doing this for years. But the fact that former members are now learning what I've been trying to tell them for years like, I've been trying to tell these members these things for years. Now, there's a couple of things, a couple of problems that I see within the tape. Again, she have a right to be upset. She have a right to cry. Uh, to see her get emotional, it just goes to show how deep the pain can go when members put their trust in this man of God and to see him not take accountability, I think it's the worst, you know, because before we could get to that, the next section, um, I want to play a particular tape just so that we can hear a section that to me, I found was very troubling to say the least. It was this particular audio of Bishop Jakes uh, basically saying if, if everything was true, um, all he got to do is just repent. So let's listen to this tape and hear what he got to say. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. Wow. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is... Wow. He said, I don't got to repent about this. Now, to me personally... I think that at that point, for him to even mention that was him not taking accountability because clearly he was at the Diddy parties. Clearly, his hands is not clean. And I think that section of his video upset a lot of churchgoers because they were expecting for him to be a man and admit what he'd been doing. Now, I've been telling you folks for years that TD Snakes is a false teacher. Y'all didn't want to listen to me. Now you're starting to see things come out. Let's get back to the tape. I'm not the strongest person in the world, but I know I'm stronger than that. Wow. Now, I like to get my groove on. I really do. Okay, I'm a Christian. I'm a doctor of Christian counseling. I'm an author of books. I have written Christian plays, but I like to get my groove on and not to the point where I'm twerking and turning my behind up uh, so you can see what I might look like in bed or know how to move in bed and not to that degree but to the degree that I like to express myself through dance and I love some secular songs I really 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 do um, but when Friday night and Saturday night come, I don't think about seeing myself at anybody's party. 
not a child's birthday party, not uh, the local Elks Club. I don't think about it, let alone a Diddy party or anything similar. I think about what I'm going to wear to church the next day. And so if that's what's on my mind, then I would think oh, that he's sitting around somewhere studying for his sermons and not being at no ditty party. And so, Reed, I hate to say it, but something ain't right with you either. Wow. Because. Wow. And your whole family just standing up there uh, backing him up. Some of y'all know that what he's doing is wrong, and I don't know to what degree it's wrong. I don't know to what degree, but my discernment, I don't need anything proven to me because my discernment tells me about how you were looking up on that stage on New Year's Eve in your red suit how weak and defensive you were. I never would have thought in a million years that I would see Bishop Jakes go down to that extreme. <sighs> and part of your tears or your about to be ready to have tears was really about uh, your guilt. Hey, at this point, she's using discernment. And uh, even if she's caught up in the religion of Christianity, you, you got to hand it to her. She can see that there is something wrong. Discernment. You, necessarily, you don't necessarily have to have something proven. If you're a person who followed the Most High and you have the Holy Spirit, you don't necessarily have to have the evidence right before you to know. All you got to do is just have discernment and look at what a person is not saying. So by T.D. Snakes uh, going up there on, I believe it was Christmas Eve or whatever day it was, a Christmas broadcast, and him not take accountability for it and say, well, I'm not going to address this. I'm not going to do that. It's like he's he's letting the cat out the bag. He's, he's basically saying, look, guys, I'm guilty, but since I'm a bishop, I don't got to answer to nobody because I'm better than you. And then... When he got up on the podium and he pretty much said this. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent wow. sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. Basically, he just minimized everything. Basically, he's like, look, even if it was true, in other words, like, why y'all making a big deal out of it? Why, why y'all making a big deal about it? Even if it was true, all I got to do is just repent and it's good. No, it's not. You're supposed to be a bishop. But I see, me personally, I know he's a false prophet. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, he was a real man of God. It's not just that simple to just say, well, uh, I confess my sins and it's over with. No, you're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed to step down from the ministry. If these allegations and these rumors are true, you're supposed to step down from the ministry and take a time to cleanse yourself and, and be, uh, you know, restored because you cannot continue to lead people and you at Diddy parties and at sex parties. And, and this is the same Diddy that went out there violating Cassie. I mean, the last person you want to be associated with in any sort of way is P. Diddy. And for him to get caught up in this situation and it's like, wow. You got allegations like this against you where you're going to ditty parties when you're supposed to be having ministry sermons to reach the loss. But instead of reaching the loss, you were reaching for something else at a party. All those unsafe people at the party, rather than you uh, reaching them with the gospel, teaching them to repent of their sins. Instead, you're busy dancing at these ditty parties. So, of course, it's going to be upsetting to members, of course. And this is why this woman is in her feelings because she cannot believe that you let her down. She probably was a major supporter of you, a major, uh, you know, 
like like a cheerleader telling everybody about how td jakes is this and td jakes is that and to to have you do this these alleged allegations it's like it's very shocking and i don't think that that woman would ever be the same when it comes to trusting in ministers because it it's as if though you broke her heart tremendously that's what happened here let's go that's what that was about you know it it was about your guilt so as bad as what you have allegedly done may be that is not the part that brings me to tears the part that brings me to tears mr bishop jakes is how you handled it and how low you looked defending yourself and how you did not take any accountability that's right for anything and the words you use to defend yourself when you know you know but sadly, God knows exactly what you did. And sad, that's the sad thing about this is that when he got up there, rather than him just addressing it like a man and say, you know what? I was at the Diddy parties. Um, I was weak. I, I felt like, let me just go enjoy myself a little bit, hang out with the celebrities. Um, I thought it was harmless and uh, I know the situation with Cassie might be troubling to a lot of people. I understand that Diddy is affiliated with this and that. Um, I had some business relationships with industry people and one thing led to another. I end up at the parties and um, I want to take full accountability for it. Um, so yes, I was at those parties. Um, was there any sort of activity that i was involved in he would have to address those things i i feel that if he would have did it that way i think that the public i think that the public would have i guess taken him a little more serious but by the pure fact that he just got up there and was like look you know if it was true all i had to do is just repent and come back to god and start it over like nothing was there no you can't do that because the church is now damaged. And, and even the Bible says that when the shepherd get exposed, what it's going to do is going to cause the flock to flee seven ways because they don't have nowhere to go and they don't have no one to trust. I mean, if the bishop is not doing what he got to do, like, who could you trust at this point? Who could you trust? And this is why we're not supposed to put our trust in man. We're supposed to put our trust in the most high. But see... A lot of times that's easier said than done because to be honest with you, pretty much all of us have trusted a preacher at some point in our life. There has to be a level of trust. It doesn't mean you're worshiping the pastor, but at the same time, you do have some people that worship their pastor more than God. And this is where they get in trouble. For her to be crying, it's almost as if though and I, I don't mean this in any disrespect towards the young, the, um, the woman, but she said that she's a fan of T.D. Jakes. You get what I'm saying? So it's like that right there speaks volumes of how much she trusts it in him. You know, and, and to, sad to say it's come it comes across like worship. It comes across like idolizing someone as if though they could never do anything wrong you get what i'm saying like these pastors are faultless like they can never do anything wrong it's impossible for them to sin and sometimes this is what they do a lot of times members look at pastors and preachers as if though they never could do anything wrong and they hold them to a higher standard to the point that if they did anything wrong it's like there's no forgiveness there's no nothing we just got to just get rid of you that's how it is in Christendom. That's why I left the religion of Christianity and I follow the most high by myself without no ties to no religion. Because I understand what the Bible say. I understand the real truth, not the 
the nonsense they teach you in the religion of Christianity. They teach religion. I don't follow religion. Religion says you could be playing for the rainbow community and God still loves you. That's what they teach in Christendom. In Christendom, they say you can get married, get a divorce, remarry, get a divorce, remarry, because God loves you. But that's not what the Bible says. You get what I mean? So you have to understand where she's coming from and how that affects members in the church. A lot of people have been broken and burnt by the church. And now her heart is broken over this issue. And I am appalled that my Bishop T.D. Jakes See? not only allegedly did what he did, but that he was lower than I ever thought he would be by the way he looked on that stage. Wow. In the red suit. Wow, wow, wow. Whew. Man. Very, very interesting video. Um, I want to run through it real fast to kind of just give a little breakdown, a few things. So let's play the tape. Hey, everybody. So I just wanted to talk. I needed to get this off of my chest. And it's about Bishop T.D. Jakes. First of all, I wanted to say that at one time I belonged to the Potter's House. I was a member of the Potter's House. So as you can see, she was a member of the Potter's House. She was definitely in the church. She knows about the church. I don't know how many years she been there, but she was definitely active in the church. Um, I have gone to several of several. his ILS um, conferences, pastors and leadership conferences. Which means she been through she been through a lot of his conferences. She studied under him, um, learned a lot about business and ministry and so on and so forth. And uh, you know, I more than that, I have been listening to him on television. I've called him my mentor. Wow. He is the comedian of all comedians as far as I'm concerned. So Jakes was her mentor. She found him to be amusing, uh, comedic at times during his sermons. So she really looked up to this guy. I loved his personality. I was one of his biggest fans. Biggest fans, which mean she put a lot of trust in him. So much so that Jake's, in her eyes, Jake's appeared like a guy that was perfect, faultless. She could have never in a million years suspect him of anything to the magnitude of these allegations. I met him in person. I don't know if he remembers, but I was at a restaurant and I actually gave him a copy of my play and my book. But anyways, I was a big T.D. Jakes fan. Wow. And when I say was, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be anymore. Wow. And that's crazy. She said, I don't know if I'm going to be anymore, which means after these allegations, after these rumors and by the pure fact of what she what he had to say, in that sermon when he said this. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I gotta do is repent. Once she heard that, she was done. She said enough is enough. I cannot rock with that. This guy is tripping. You know, he's acting like all I gotta do is just repent and don't, don't take accountability. That, that literally turned her off to him at that point. Listen. Sincerely from my heart, there's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. Wow. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is... See, for him to say, I don't have to repent of this, when he was allegedly at those Diddy parties, he minimized accountability and basically said, it's okay for me to do this. So that's going to that's gonna tear the church apart because it's like, wow, if you're at these parties, then what is really going on in Christendom? So it's going to cause the flock to scatter and they're not going to have that trust or that respect for the ministry anymore. 
it's not so much because of what I think he did, even though uh, what I heard that he allegedly did was horrific. But all have fallen short of the glory of God. He was, uh, he was supposed to be living by a higher standard. To tell you the truth, we all are supposed to be living by a higher standard, not just him. See, I think that's one of the biggest problems with Christians, and I'm not a Christian, by the way, just for, for the record, because a lot of times people try to associate me with Christianity. Um, a lot of times in Christianity or with Christians is they look up to the bishops, the pastors, the preachers and say, oh, they have to live up to a higher standard. Yes, where much is given, much is required, but that doesn't minimize the walk we're supposed to be in. That doesn't mean that because you're not a pastor or a bishop that you can go out there, sin, act, act a fool and do a bunch of crazy stuff and not be accountable for it. We're all held to the same standard in the eyes of God. That's all I got to say on that. So I did expect more of him, but for See, she said, I did expect more of him, meaning she expect him to live at a higher standard. You see that? Which means she put her trust in him to be perfect and flawless. Me, uh, the bottom line is how he handled it. Somebody told me a long time ago, it's not what you do, it's how you handle it. See, the tears that she's shedding is more proof of the fact that she know that this situation is going to get worse. And there may be a tape that might end up getting leaked. There may be something that might end up happening due to this story because you never know who's at these parties recording. And if you've been watching my videos, I've been saying a lot that when situations like this happen, a lot of times they get dirt on you. They get video on you just so that if things got real they can bring it out and pretty much blackmail you and expose you in the public so don't be surprised if something comes out i would have expected so much more of him than that i saw him change from a strong man to a wimp wow that speaks volumes, fam, because she'd been following him for years, and she said that he turned into a wimp. A wimp. Wow. Right before my eyes, I saw him become a wimp. And see, only people that were members of the church would understand. It's just like how I'm a former member of Creflo Dollar's church. So nobody could really tell me anything about Creflo because I know how he is. I, I've been there, I've seen all his messages to know what I know. You get what I'm saying? So when I when I preach against his messages, when I proclaim him as, as a false teacher, I'm not saying this as a person who never been in the church, don't know nothing about the church, never supported the church, never bought any of the tapes, videos, never been to any conferences. I've done all of these things. I've seen all the meetings. I've seen all of the different connections of different preachers that he rolled with to understand how how deep the rabbit hole goes with the prosperity gospel. I know about these preachers. You know what I mean? I've seen all of T.D. Jake's messages from way back in the day. I'm talking about way back in the day. In the early, whatchamacallit, mid-1990s. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So I know what I'm talking about. Let's get back to these tapes. He didn't admit to any wrongdoing. And that's the part that probably hurt her the most, is that he didn't even admit to nothing. That shows pride and arrogance. He knew he was at the Diddy parties. That was not right. Wow. He wouldn't get up on the stage and tell his whole congregation that he goes to Diddy parties. He knows he was hiding that fact. But when he was found out, he didn't say anything about it. And, you know, he was so vague and defensive and he just seemed so weak to me. I'm not the strongest person in the world, but I know I'm stronger than that. 
She just said that she's stronger than that. Meaning, if she knew she was caught up in some sort of drama, she would have handled that in a better way. Especially to be a little more respectful to the congregation. Especially during a Christmas service. And I'm not promoting Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. But at the same time, that would have been the best opportunity for him to actually be accountable for his actions. By the pure fact that he said, I'm not going to address this or use the pulpit to address a lie. And he didn't even break down the things that is already out there. To me, was the worst thing he could have ever done. And to me, he lost a lot of respect. A lot of people lost a lot of respect for him. Now, I like to get my groove on. I really do. Now that we got to talk about that one. You know, yeah, I, I think that's the wrong way to put it. You know what I'm saying? That you want to get your groove on. You know what I mean? That, you know, it's like you're saying, you see, here's the problem, fam. It's like she's saying she want to get her groove on. But then Diddy's at, I mean, Jake's is at the parties with Diddy. But she's saying she want to get her groove on. So it's like it, send, it sends kind of mixed signals, to, to, to be honest with you. It's sort of like. It's okay for you to get your groove on, but it's wrong for him to be at the parties. Like, which one is it? You got to you gotta make up your mind. Okay, I'm a Christian. I'm a doctor of Christian counseling. I'm an author of books. I have written Christian plays. But I like to get my groove on. And I think that somebody, somebody need to tell her, use a different f wording, because when you say get your groove on, Y'all all know where I'm going with that, right? <laughs> Y'all all know where, I, where I'm going with that because it's like if when a woman, especially when an older woman says she's trying to get her groove on, I'm you, you're thinking of Stella got her groove back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like it's kind of, you know what I mean. Not to the point where I'm twerking and turning my behind up uh, <laughs> so you can see what I might look like in bed or know how to move in bed and not to that degree so she cleared the air so before we jump to conclusions she just basically shut us up she's saying she's basically saying not the way we are thinking with our dirty minds right but to the degree that i like to express myself through dance which means she likes dancing it's a part of her life it makes her happy it's something she enjoys and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you like to dance, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing sinful if a woman want to dance. As long as you're not on OnlyFans and, you know what I'm saying, charging people $20 a seat. And I love some secular songs. I really Whoa, you love some secular songs. What you talking about, Willis? Now nah, we got a problem with that, fam. What you talking about, Willis? You know, secular songs, eh. You know, we gotta really, t we gotta talk about that one, but we'll deal with that another time. Really, 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 really do. Um, but when Friday night and Saturday night come, I don't think about seeing myself at anybody's party. Not a child's birthday party, not uh, the local Elks Club. I don't think about it, let alone a Diddy party <laughs> or anything similar. I think about what I'm going to wear to church the next day. Mm. And so if that's what's on my mind, then I would think oh, that he's sitting around somewhere studying for his sermons and wow. not being at no ditty party. And so, Rita, I hate to say it, but something ain't right with you either. Wow. So, Rita, something ain't right with you. And that's something that we also need to address because the wife knows. The wife knows what's going on. Um, she understands that he's dirty and there's a possibility that he's been hiding a lot and she's been covering for him. And I really believe that the wife is a part of this. She allegedly knows the dark secrets of T.D. Jakes. Um, she's most likely a beard, allegedly. And... Um, it's always interesting how the wives are always there. And and, and it's, it, it kind of remind me back when uh, Eddie Long was getting exposed. The wife was with him one minute and then she ended up filing for divorce. Why? Because it's like it got it took its toll. And she was like, look, I'm done. Let me get out of this situation. 
And not only did Eddie Long deal with the backlash of all of the allegations, but the fact that he was being exposed, he settled out of court, and the wife couldn't deal with all the embarrassment. You know what I mean? And now T.D. Jakes is out here saying, well, if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. He even went as far to say, why would I even do those things at 60-something years old? Like, why would a 60-something-year-old man be doing all of these things, not realizing that your age have nothing to do with it? You could be 60-plus years old and still be doing these things. I mean, think about it. Let's go. Because, and your whole family just standing up there uh, backing him up. Because they've been fleecing the flock. I told you. T.D. Snakes is a false teacher and it's a family business. I mean, think about it. He anointed his daughter to now go and fleece the flock. When the Bible says that I suffer not a woman to teach, nor usurp authority over man. But guess what? T.D. Jake says, I don't care. I'm going to let my daughter fleece the flock now. You remember that video clip where her hair came off? We're going to talk about that in another video. But T.D. Jakes anointed his daughter with some oil on her weave, that's what he did, and basically crowned her as a pastor. It's crazy. Some of y'all know that what he's doing is wrong, and I don't know to what degree it's wrong. I don't know to what degree, but my discernment, I don't need anything proven to me. Right. Because my discernment tells me about how you were looking up on that stage on New Year's Eve in your red suit, how weak and defensive you were. Wow. I never would have thought in a million years that I would see Bishop Jakes go down to that extreme. And that's what's so, what's so sad about this, is that at one point in life, she saw him as a strong man of God, and now she see him as weak. That's very, very telling, people. Very telling. <sighs> and part of your tears or your about to be ready to have tears was really about guilt. Uh, your guilt. Because if you really think about it, when Jakes was on there, on the stage, walking back and forth, you could almost hear it in his voice, like he want to cry. You know what I'm saying? It, it was almost like he want to cry or something, fam. Absolutely out of this world. It was it was like, like he's, you know, like how when you're, you're like choking on your words. That's how he was looking when he was on the stage walking back and forth. He was like, all he want to do is say, hear God say my good and faithful servant. It's like he wanted to cry, fam. Like, like he'd been caught finally. Very, very, very sad. That's what that was about. You know it. It was about your guilt. So as bad as what you have allegedly done may be, that is not the part that brings me to tears. The part that brings me to tears, Mr. Bishop Jakes, is how you handled it and how low you looked defending yourself and how you did not take any accountability any. for anything. Wow. And the words you use to defend yourself when you know, you know, but sadly, God knows exactly what you did and I am appalled that my Bishop T.D. Jakes not only allegedly did what he did, but that he was lower than I ever thought he would be by the way he looked on that stage in the red suit. Wow. Whew. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But wow. I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is... Wow, wow, wow. 
If you like the video, if you like the video, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to click the like button. Likes don't cost you not one dollar. Uh, we'll be back later on with more content. Ringo TV reactions salute you. We appreciate you watching this broadcast. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings to the chat, the moderators, members, and those in the overflow in the clouds. We'll catch you on the next video. Ringo TV reactions. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at Dollar Sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Ringo TV Reactions. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw and uncut. I'm out. Peace.